Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at how we can connect our forms to the table. I did a video of this new feature in Google Sheets where we have a table and I explained how it works in this video. I'm going to show you how I link my Google form like this one here. For example, if you see the last item I have here is printer. 755. If I come here and I select maybe a laptop, select the quantity, select put in the price. And then if I save this here, I want to save this. Once it is saved, it needs to come here like so. So the question is, how do we link our table to our Google Sheet forms? I'm going to take you step by step and therefore I'm going to start by scratch. So I have access to a blank sheet here. So if I want a form from this sheet here, I go under tools, I select create forms, and it's gonna open a, the form feature here, and I use this to create the nature of my form. So the first question I need is the name of the product to be a short name, be required, but I'll make it a drop down. So I put my options here laptop. The next option is phone. The next option is iPad. And the last option I have is printer. I'm putting it as a drop down to make it easy for data entry. And I make it required. I add the next question. The next question is the quantity. I need to track the quantity. So I write quantity, it's a short answer. It is required also. Then you can put a validation or quantities must be greater than zero. And if they do not put that, I give them an error message uh, which says quantity must be greater than zero. So I add the next question is the unit cost. And it's a short answer, it's also required. And the validation I add here is the quantity must be greater than zero. I don't expect a negative quantity. So the next thing is if you want to view your form, you click there, you see the form here. And you try it out by adding the laptop. We have 14 of these, and each is at 1,000. And we do submit. Then let's see, let's add another one. Now we add the phone. We have 15 of these, and the unit cost is 600. Submit. Then let's go to our sheet. This one is empty, sheet one, but it has created a new sheet which calls, it called form responses one. When we go there, we see that our new two items have been added. The next thing I'm going to do is convert this into a table. So to do that, I highlight this, go to format, and run here, convert to table. When I do that, my table is created. By default, it adds the same stamp. So with this table, does my form still work? That's what we're gonna answer. So to answer that, let's test, test it out by going to submit another response there. This time I'm going to select iPad. We have five of them and each is at 67. Dollars right there. That's our form. There you go. iPad is added like so. So my table is working. That is great. What if I add there another column to this table? Will my form still work? Let's let's try that. And this table column I'm adding is the total cost. And this total cost is going to be got by the quantity here 
multiplied by the unit cost, hit enter, autofill comes in, accept it, and this is what I get. Now, what comes to my head now is if I add the printer here, will it automatically compute the total cost? Let's check it out. Go to the form again, submit another item. This time we are submitting a printer and we have seven of them and each is at 200. Submit that, run to the table and check out whether your printer has been added. Rightly so, it has added it. So the takeaway here is if I convert my data into a table, it can still be accessed by the form and the form will update the table. If I add the column to the table, as you see, and put formulas, the formulas still update when I add the item to the table through my form. That is great. Now, next, let's see how. Now, what do I want to do? I want to add columns on top here so that I get the overall total cost. So how do I do that? I'm going to select a number of rows here. Insert rows. Come here. Write the word overall total. Come here. Get the sum of to access the columns in the table, I'm gonna use product. Pro no, I'm not gonna use product. However, if I want to use that, I need to have changed this name here to the name that I want by saying products. So, you can come here, it can work even if you have not changed, but could customize it to what you exactly want. So to access a column in the table, I write the word product, the name of the table, put a square bracket like so. Now this one gives me access to the all the columns. It gives me access to the name column, quantity column, timestamp, unit, and total cost. I want the sum of the total costs of the individual product. So I do click there, press enter, and there I get my sum, which I can quickly check and see that it is correct. So this is how you can use the form to get sums, add columns, and do all sorts of things. So whatever you do, it can still work. You can say, okay, fine. What if, what if I added another uh, field here? If you added another field here, it will automatically be updated in your table. I give you that assurance. Try it out. If you don't get it updated, give me a comment. For now, this is what I wanted to show you today. I think this is a good feature that you need to try out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and see you in the next video. Have a great day.